When I start my car, you get two stages of ignition. You put the key into the slot and you get this first set of lights. And then uh, without putting my foot on the clutch, I then press the start stop button and now we get these additional lights. So the problem I'm having with my car is that when I press the button, uh, I don't get this additional set of lights. And obviously with my foot on the clutch, it just doesn't start. And what's more, it doesn't even crank. Let's take a look at what happens when it fails. So pushing the key in and then uh, you'll see the lights come up. I press the button and it doesn't go to the second phase. And in fact, it seems to switch the car off. I noticed that every so often this steering lock warning would come up. Um, apparently it just means the steering lock is slightly jammed or something and then it would disappear just as it did there. In the 116 Trophy class you're not allowed to run a steering lock and so what you do is you remove the unit and replace it with a small emulator and this is the emulator unit and you can clearly see that uh, the pins, um, some of the pins, three of the pins actually, have pulled where I've disconnected it. It's pulled the pins out of the circuit board and they obviously weren't soldered correctly. And um, this seems to have been the cause of my issue. Now, although you might not have one of these emulators, you can equally get this problem with a steering lock. So um, the user manual says that you can drive the car with this warning up but actually you can't I can't find a way to, that you can actually start the car so uh, obviously it's not drivable. A quick way to check this was to reinstall the original steering unit which I kept but you notice the, rub the uh, rubber band that's actually important because you have to hold that metal uh, aluminium plunger in um, and so if you put a rubber band around it, it gives it enough tension to pull it in. If you don't do that, you'll get the same error as you get when I had the emulator fault. Anyway, with this in place, the problem cleared and I was then able to actually start the uh, car or switch it to that second phase of ignition. So I plan to carry the original unit as a spare in case the problem happens again. I've resoldered it all back together, so I've done uh, solder on that side, and I think these are what they call vias. Um, so it's a hole that's got a plating through it. So I've soldered the top as well, um, just to be doubly sure.